Sharon Gaffney reporting there. Well now, irritable bowel syndrome is a debilitating condition that can have a devastating impact on a person's life. Yet nobody fully understands the basis of this condition or indeed how best to treat it. I'm joined now by Dr Eileen Murphy, a scientist who is working on it. Eileen, thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. Um, first off, irritable bowel syndrome, just describe it to me. What does it do to a person? Well, it's, uh, the main symptom is abdominal pain, um, but it's also associated with um, constipation, diarrhea, passage of gas, bloating, and that can have a, you know, a significant effect on a person's quality of life, you know, particularly the bloating and the passage of gas, you know, the social impact, um, and um, it's, it affects more women than men. Um, mm -hmm. Does anyone know why? No, there's no actually known cause um, for IBS, which is frustrating. And so for those that have the condition, it's about managing the condition. And, you know, when you do have symptoms like that, I, pre I presume the first thing you do is you go to your GP. What does yes. the GP do? Just go, oh, I don't know what this is. Off you go. Well, it, it is kind of like a diagnosis of exclusion for IBS. So, you know, they, you may be referred to a gastroenterologist, you may get a scope. But in general, the tests come back as normal. Like, so it's, it's there's no organic cause. So when they find nothing, then yeah, you get yeah, the diagnosis I, IBS, of IBS. Yeah. And and then it's, it's, you know, it's frustrating for both patient and doctor, you know, because the, of the limited therapeutic options there for, for IBS. But it is a very debilitating condition. You know, we've mm. had, you know, reports from, you know, sufferers that, you know, they, they wake up in the morning, their stomach is flat and by the evening their stomach is, you know, bloated and, you know, they can't wear the same clothes that they're buying, you know, the floaty tops to cover their, the, you know, their... Their, their, their stomach because they're embarrassed. You yeah, know? and people missing out on work opportunities, social opportunities, absolutely, people absolutely, will avoid yeah. things. Like even like going out, you know, to, you know, to dinner, going to, going, going to a restaurant, it's all about where the next loo is. Mm. You know, long journeys is an issue, you know, going on a plane or a bus journey, you know, it, these are an issue, you know, so it really does have a, a significant impact on daily routine. Uh, the other thing you hear a lot around um, irritable bowel syndrome or any kind of digestive issues, we, we've all heard the, the probiotics, there are many, many firms now yeah. who are selling these probiotics. Yeah. Is there the science in place to say that these probiotics do anything for these conditions? For, for some, not all. And I think that's an important point um, to note, you know, that probiotics are, are not all the same. They're not equal. They, they're like, um, they're like uh, people, they're like individuals, you know, they're, they're unique. And um, certain probiotics, you know, work and others don't. So it's really important, you know, if, you're, if you've got IBS to ask your pharmacist for recommendation and look for a probiotic that has been clinically tested in the condition, like for IBS, you know. And, and not to name any brands, but you know, the, the ads you see, um, take this little drink or this little yogurt this will support your internal microflora or whatever yeah. you call them is have those companies is there research there for the bigger ones yes there there, there is um you know but with ibs i think ibs you know there's such a range of different symptoms um so you know it's important to look for one that has you know shown to affect you know to, to actually manage the whole condition rather than just one particular um, a symptom like bloating, I'd say. Mm. What is the basic thinking behind probiotics? How are they meant to in improve things for IBS sufferers? Well, in IBS, um, it, it's now well known that there's an imbalance in the gut microbiota. Um, uh, and also that the immune system is, 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 is altered and so probiotics can work through um, you know the gut microbiota and also can you know it stimulate the immune system or calm down the immune what system. What is a probiotic? <laughs> it's a, they're live bacteria um, and which have been you know like in a probiotic by definition actually you know there needs to be a proven health, uh, health effect associated with this uh, strain. So live bacteria, they are live that's bacteria. what's contained in the little yes. drinks or whatever yes. way you, you drink them. Yeah. And then the live bacteria, they go into your gut and what do they do? Or they, what are they meant to do? Um, well, like let's say for the, the particular um, work that we do, um, it's, it's all about en engagement with the immune system, about calming down the immune system. Like an IBS sufferers, you know, they have elevated inflammatory markers and, and we've shown that we can manage those. So, so the yeah. gut is all inflamed it's a, and, it's and then you introduce a new bacterium yes. and it, it relaxes. Why? It's about the specific bacteria. Um, it's about um, like it, it, it's our science is showing us that, you know, a, a specific bacteria a specific probiotic can, response. you know, can. Or the not all probiotics response. will do that, you know, and right. it, like 
Okay, Liz, it sounds like it's a very new area of science. There's a long way to go in it, but yeah. if you are going to take a probiotic, make sure the research is there before Absolutely. you start paying out big money for them. Absolutely. Great. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. Thanks. Now it is time for the business news.